Visit Experian on Snapchat. So I can't believe it's already time for back to school shopping. So today on Snapchat, we're gonna share with you five ways that you can save. So it adds up really quickly, right? Because the average shopper is gonna be spending $235 on clothing, $204 on electronics, $126 on shoes, and then $107 on school supplies. So here are five ways that you can be a better saver. The first step to saving money is actually building a budget. You need to know how much you're gonna be spending so create a list and know exactly where every dime is going to go. And some people prefer to build a back to school budget that actually extends out the entire year because there's certain things you won't buy till later on, like sports supplies. So the second biggest way you can save money is simply by auditing what you already have. Go through your kids' backpacks, go through closets, go through drawers, round up all the pens, pencils, everything that you currently have. Okay, so the third biggest way to save money is by bringing a list with you and do not deviate because there's so many for sale signs, you're going to want to spend more. Look, I know how it is. You see those dollar signs, those dollar bins, oh man, you can't resist them. So be on a mission, be a hound, and stick to your list. The fourth way to save money is by shopping at stores at price match. When you find items that you really need, especially some of those high price items, go online and see if you can find better deals. And look, the price matching process is very simple. You basically go online with your phone, find a better price, maybe on Amazon.com, go over to customer care and show them the price. Now sometimes the line to get to customer care is long, but it's worth it because when you show them the price, oftentimes they will match it, especially if it's a legitimate website. Okay, the fifth and final tip is to not neglect thrift stores. You can get great deal consignment shops. I used to do this all the time when I was in high school. I used to hit up the Goodwill and Salvation Army. Those are both great places to find good prices on clothing. If you'd like to get more resources and more tips on how to save for back to school, make sure to screenshot the next snap. We'll have a URL there for you and also info about our upcoming credit chat. Oh, and I'd also love to hear your tips. I'd love to know how you're saving money for back to school this season. Snap us back because we'd love to share that with our community on Wednesday.